Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today to talk about the thing that I was really hoping I didn't have to talk about, but now it seems pretty clear that um, they're going this direction. I wanted to talk about the fact that they have already decided <laughs> that Summer 6 is not going to be getting a rerun of any kind. Only the banner itself is coming back, and what that kind of means for the game. I think this is a pretty big deal for a lot of reasons, and I'll kind of get into it in the, the video, but that's going to be today's video. So I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you feel about this specific situation. I don't think a lot of people like that this situation is happening, and I think it's weird that they're doing this, but I think I know the reason why. Um, and subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. So, uh, if you don't know, back when Famitsu came out, there was a lot of info that was in there, and one of the info uh, we got from there was actually a statement which said, I I think it was either from Nasu, but it was from both of them because it was all of their things or whatever. But the statement very clearly just said, we plan to do less reruns. And they didn't give any reason at all. <laughs> Zero reason as to why they would want to do less reruns. They just said, we want to do less reruns. And then come around summer and everyone's like, so is summer six going to be coming back? Everyone thought the same thing. Summer 6 is too big of an event. Why would you just skip Summer 6? You make money off of Summer 6. And there's a lot of summer units that people want to pull for. It wouldn't make sense to just skip it. And then finally, after Summer 7 came out, and it seemed like they were skipping straight ahead out of Summer 6, people still, there were some people who were still kind of hoping that, hey, maybe we're going to get that rerun. This basically, I think, kills it, unless they come out and maybe release it in the in-between time. And yeah, it's a very bad situation. So if you don't know, the free-to-play welfare unit for Summer 6 was, if we go back a year, was Ruler Da Vinci. And there we go. So currently, your one shot of getting Summer Da Vinci was this event. It's not coming back. And if you're saying, well, they could always do it later down the line... Um, let me go back to 2018, where Samba Quetz was first released. Big fan of Samba Quetz, of course, as you know. Big fan of Quetz in general. And 2019 was supposed to be her rerun, and let me tell you right now, it's been, oh, well, let me see, since this officially came out. One, two, three, going on four years waiting for some form of a rerun for an event that only had one <laughs> run. It's never coming back, and unfortunately the same thing is also being done for Santa Carna. You can see here Santa Carna was skipped. There's no chance of him ever coming back. <laughs> There's just no chance. If it is, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't even, I think, so here's the reason why I'm pretty sure and also why they're also saying more reruns. So, it's been wildly, incorrectly, I should say, I'm gonna stress this as hard as I can, it has been incorrectly reported that Samba Quetz never came back because of problems with Kaniku Man, in that her event was a parody of Kaniku Man, and they, they got too close, and the people behind Kaniku Man, Shonen Jump, they're like, oh no, we're gonna, you can't release this, Sony. You cannot release this, it's too close to Kaniku Man. Uh, which is full of shit, because <laughs> Kaniku Man is a parody manga, which features real ass people in it. Meaning that they would have, to, meaning that real ass wrestlers showed up, except for instead of calling Roddy Piper, they were called Rowdy Bob Viper or something like that. Viper, Viper Fang, something like that. But it was clearly just them. But Kinnika Man is a parody manga. Parody is protected in Japan. People don't seem to understand what parody is and that it's actually protected in Japan. That's why Gintama can be Gintama, and Gintama can make fun of. Uh, a multitude of things, including Kaniku Man, including make references to Kaniku Man, okay, make mar references to Mario. There's one person I saw incorrectly say that, oh yeah, uh, Nintendo is super crazy against copyright. Look at how much they go for OSTs on YouTube. And that's a completely different situation because one, that's their song that someone is putting up there. Whether or not you think that uh, they shouldn't do that is a different conversation, but that is literally their song. People aren't getting their parodies of their songs taken down. No one's doing that, as far as I can tell. And the other thing that I have to really stress on this, there has been zero reporting on this rumor. People have just made it up whole cloth. 
and have just said the reason she never came back was because of Kaneko Man. It's never been proven. There's no backup to it. The only reason anyone would believe it is you ha you have to say, oh, trust me, bro. That's the reason why. That's not the reason why. It never was the reason why. People just decided to blame something and they decided that's the reason it never came back. So why hasn't it actually legitimately come back? That I don't know. Because nobody knows. Why was it skipped? I do know that. So at this time, if you look at it carefully, when did this take place? Christmas. What usually ha what happened next year on Christmas? Uh, Atlantis. What also happened this year in Japan was that there was also a big... Um, I forget the name of the specific storm, but there was a huge storm that caused a big delay. So what happened was is that to actually get this released in time, because this was the period in which there was a lot of like delays between the next Lost Belt, I think people were waiting for Atlantis for an extremely long time, I think, at this point. Or maybe I'm thinking of the previous one. But in order to actually release it on December, and to keep up with the specific timeline that they had themselves set in the story, they made a sacrifice, and that sacrifice was Samba Quetz. And why hasn't she been returned? I have no idea. Why hasn't any of the other events come back? The reason is is that they don't know when to bring it back, so they don't want to bring it back. It's pretty clear to me that that seems to be the main reason why it's never come back. As to why it was skipped, I think it's pretty obvious that they decided that they would rather have more focus be put on Atlantis and stuff like that because it is a Lost Belt. And the vast majority of their money seems to come from Lost Belt chapters because that's where you get a lot of story stuff and that's what gets people the most hype in Fago. It's always been that way. And I think Karn, comma, Karn probably had to run into the same issues on this December. Yeah, so this December, when it was supposed to be the Karna rerun, what was happening? The Tungska Sanctuary. A lot of stuff was kind of being set up here. And this was ended up being pretty important for reasons I'm not going to say. Because it's related to a character that people in NA don't know this information about yet. As for why summer is being skipped, here's the real reason why I think this is this is all happening and why they're just saying in general we're going to be doing less reruns, is I don't think they know how to manage their time. <laughs> they don't know how to manage their time at all because Nasu takes fucking forever to write a story. He can, the man cannot finish writing a story. If there's anyone that you can blame for any of the delays, blame it on the fact that this entire game's entire selling point is the Lost Belts. It's the chapters, it's the writing. It's his writing specifically. Um, his writing is what got Morgan to be super well-loved and have everyone from LB6 basically make gangbuster money jackpot. Like, he's super important to everything and he just can't deliver shit on time. And because Fago is on a very stupid timetable where all the events in Fago in a Lost Belt have to happen at that exact time, they have to prioritize that stuff over other things and how do they actually justify that? The answer is, they cut back on reruns. And they just have giant periods of dead time. Now, here's the thing that just doesn't make any sense. It really shouldn't, in theory, take that much effort to just rerun a fucking event. It's just an old event. He doesn't need to be involved in anything. So why don't they do it more? I have no idea. I really wish I did. I think it might also have something to do with the way that they're stupid, um... So if you don't know this, this is not like an actual knock on the game. The game is just built dumb. The game is built very poorly and it's very shoddy. If you've ever seen spaghetti codes, it's because the coding of Fago is just bad. Um, it's just not good, like in any sense of the thing. So actually working with it is pretty tough. The only thing I would imagine is that the codes themselves, they have to go in there and have to actually work and that requires them to do more work. And that's why it's harder for them to do reruns. But that's just a wild guess on my part, based off of what I know about Fago and stuff like that. In general, I think if they decide to do less reruns and there's less things to do in the game, I think that's going to hurt the game, in general. Because where do most people get their courts and tickets from? It's from reruns of events. And also, a lot of events have stories related to characters. If you only have... If you... Literally, the only way... You would ever even get to know a lot about Bradamante and more about Samba Quetz, is that you had to be playing from December 12th to the 25th in 2018, and you had to have, I think, um, you had to at least clear Anastasia. You had to have all those factors to actually get it. That's just bad blind timing in general for everything. How can they fix this? I think the obvious fix is to do what they did with, um... Halloween last year, and which was include a whole bunch of them in one, the Halloween trilogy. They should be doing that with... 
I'm not going to be happy about it, first of all, because Samba Quetz needs to... I need to have three copies of Quetz in my box. I don't need two. It's bullshit that she only got one rerun in general, and I'm going to call it bullshit until the end of time. But whatever. If she ends up being included in that package, they have to include her because she's one of the first three. <laughs> Pretty sure she is. Now, let me see. I think it goes one... Uh, no, this was the first one, second one, and then the third one was the... Okay, so she wouldn't even be included in that. So it's a different situation entirely from Halloween, which is unfortunate. But a lot of the other events, like summer events, summer events, I don't think they have ever come back. And they, there is a way... <laughs> Fago has a way to bring back events. They just don't use it very often. Like, I've seen some people say, like, hey, how come they don't, like, include something to be, like... So you can... Revisit previous events and they have that they totally have all that and they don't utilize it well enough And I don't understand why they don't I don't know if it's just because they don't want to give too many people a shot of quartz and tickets too quickly But it's dumb and also I should really the fact that they're skipping this in the same year That they released three welfares that you only pick one form of you can only get one of these units currently and assuming, we can't even assume that this gets a rerun list next year. If this gets no rerun next year, then and this gets included in some kind of package deal later down the line, or it gets released on its own thing down the line, uh, then you can only ever get two out of three of these servants. In order to get all three, you would need to get a rerun, and then you'd have to wait for them to release it as a main interlude. I think that's what they're called. You'd have to wait for one of that situation, and then you would be able to get all three. But if you don't, you can't do that, then you can only get one, <laughs> and that's so stupid. It's unbelievably dumb. The game only gets worse if they do less reruns. I, it's also not like they have like an insane patch of stuff. It's like, it's funny because they're like, we want to do less reruns. We think we do too, we don't, do, we do too many reruns. And it's like, what game are you fucking playing? You only ever rerun an event twice. Except for Nerofest, apparently that can, did come back. But you only do it twice. And then it doesn't come back for years. And then maybe you release it for three and then everyone can play it at that time. It's insane. Their thought process makes no sense. And the fact that they gave no clear definition as to why they decide that they're skipping these events just means that they don't have a good answer. Because whatever answer that they would give would just make you angry. <laughs> That's the only reason you don't give an answer when you announce a big announcement like, Oh yeah, we're not doing reruns anymore. It's completely stupid. It's completely dumb. <laughs> it is not anger inducing. I'm not super angry about it. I'm just annoyed at why would you make such a stupid decision? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It just makes the game worse for no reason. Other than unless, like I said, I think it has to do with scheduling things. They just can never fit stuff into their schedule. Like that's the reason so many things kind of get off the list. They could very easily release it, but then on their stupid schedule, they don't see a reason. It's so weird because Fogo has such crazy downtime, and in that downtime, they're like, well, obviously there's no event that we can release. Currently, there's no event planned for... No, their their plan is <laughs> this goes until the 31st. This goes from August 10th to the 31st. So that means that this banner has been up for one, two, three weeks at that point instead of the average two... Actually, no, I think the average week for... A new summer is usually... Let me double check on this, but I'm pretty sure it's usually three weeks now that I look at it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me just do some due diligence. So let's see. September 8th to the 29th. September. 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 8th. One, two, three. Yeah, three weeks. So that's about the average time. Though, funny enough, since this is in December, wouldn't it be funny if it ends that they were just planning it for September? And that's when we're getting it, actually? That would be weird. But yeah, I, I really do hope that eventually they do a rerun. They listen to feedback. Because even on the Jap Japanese side of this, they're happy to be able to at least go like, Hey, at least we can summon for the SSR again. That's nice. But also, bring back the fucking event. <laughs> Why would you just bring back the banner and no event? That makes no sense. And I agree. It, it totally doesn't make any sense. It's a dumb decision. Also, this banner is not good because there's no single raid up day. So you have to hope that you don't get any of the excess. That's so, it's so bad. After I specifically did a whole entire video, it's looking at like, oh yeah, when the solo raid up? A solo raid up 
doesn't mean you have a better ch a better chance of it, but if you pulled, like, for example, MP5 and, An and Anastasia, and you're just looking for Charlotte, there's no good way for you to just be like, well, I'm going to wait for a day where it's just Okita and Rengoku uh, on the same day as Charlotte. There is no day like that. So you have to go in there, and if you get a 4, you're going to, that's a good, you have about as much of a chance, you got about a 20, I was going to say 50-50, but if it's a featured four star unit then you have a 50 50 chance of it either being anastasia or it being charlie charlotte charlotte i don't know why i suddenly forgot how to say your name but yeah it's not yeah not not the greatest so i just wanted to talk about that for a little bit it's very weird i don't like that they're doing this i think it's a mistake that they're doing it if you have any specific different way of viewing it feel free to tell me but i can only see it as a bad and i don't see it in a way as like oh the game's dying i just see it as why would you do this you're actively just making the game worse for no reason. Like, the, if they had given a reason, it wouldn't be good enough to justify it. If their specific reason is we're going to eventually make them all main interludes, so we're not going to rerun them as much, that makes a little bit more sense. It still completely fucks over the fact that you can't get all three of them unless on the main interlude part of it, it you get the other two. Um... And I know that they're the exact same unit, so in some case, why does it matter? But for collection purposes, it does matter. I want all of them. I don't just want two, especially for welfares. It just doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I think that's enough. It's annoying, and I have to go back to work. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Wish you all the best of luck in whatever you're pulling, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.